welcome to my channel. My name is Tracy Reed and this is Acrylic Pouring with Friends and I hope you all are having a great day. So I'm going to just jump in and get started. The canvas that I'm working on today is a 14 by 18 and I have got my cloud effect mix that I will be um, using today. I've got a 10 ounce spouted cup um, this is, if you've watched my videos, you know this is my, well, maybe you don't, <laughs> but uh, this is my favorite cup. I love the um, spouted cup because I like to do a lot of cloud pours and I like to layer my paints in there and this cup is perfect for that. So, before I tell you what paints I have, I'm going to go over my cloud mix just very quickly. I'm not going to mix it, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you I do have a video where I mixed it so that'll be in the description if you want to go watch that one and the way that I mix my cloud mix is I have my flow trowel so I use um, two parts of the flow trowel now make sure that um, you strain your flow trowel and even if this is strained but even if it's like for me if it's set for a while I'll strain it again Okay, so two parts flow trawl, two parts bare satin enamel, and I use the ultra pure white to one part of the Vallejo Pearl Medium. And I also add in a generous squeeze of the Golden GAC 800. Now, some people have asked me how much my generous squeeze is, and I would say about roughly depending on what your parts are uh, a tablespoon ish you may need to add a few drops of water um, and that's really it so for some of you that are new and don't know what a part is a part is any amount that you choose so you could take a um, let me grab a couple of cups here you could take a one ounce cup and that could be your part or you could take a, a five ounce cup. That could be your part, okay? So any amount you choose is the part that you're going to work with. So if you wanna make a bigger batch, you use a bigger part. <laughs> if you want to make a smaller batch, you use a smaller part. So hopefully that helps kind of clear up um, a little bit for you, because I know some people have also asked me about how much my generous squeeze is. So. Again, like I said, about a tablespoon-ish. If you're going to go with maybe only like an ounce is going to be your part, then I would probably go maybe two teaspoons. Um, but Golden GAC 800 is really good to help for cracking and crazing. And, um, and uh, so that's why I really like to use that. All right, so on to my colors. I have got Amsterdam Prussian Blue almost out of that one um, and then this color here I've got two colors mixed and one of the colors is peacock pearl from deco art uh, dazzling metallics and I don't have the other tube and that is Windsor and Newton deep turquoise and then this color I just have to kind of show you cuz it is just gorgeous Ooh, it is beautiful so what I did with that color is I already had some of the Deco Art um, Americana Decor Metallics copper. I already had that in my bottle. So what I did was I took some um, high flow, golden high flow acrylics, quinacridone, nickel, azo gold, and I put about 15 drops um, in here. And this is, this cup holds an ounce. So that's what I did with that. It's super, super pretty. It just kind of kicked it up a notch. And then I've got uh, gold, and this is Liquitex Basics Gold. So those are the colors that I will be using in today's video. Let me get my gloves on quickly, and then I can get started pouring. And I am going to, the way that I pour my paint, in is the side that I pour out of, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, I've just always done it that way. So 
You can do it however way you choose, but that's the way I choose to do it. So that's what I'm gonna continue to do. All right, I'm gonna start with the blue, the darker uh, Prussian blue. And all of my paints are mixed with um, my regular pouring medium, which is Liquitex pouring medium, um, Floetrol and water and some golden GAC 800. Oops, I think I'm gonna put my, almost forgot my cloud effect mix. Um, and I do change up my pouring medium um, depending on the time of year because it's humid here and sometimes in the humid weather my paintings will crack. So that is why I add the golden GAC 800 in more in the um, winter, or excuse me, the summertime, again, because it gets more humid here. <laughs> so if you're having that issue, I know we're going into uh, fall time, but I'll just continue to use it because it doesn't hurt it. Um, but I do notice, I did uh, notice that um, that's what was happening. And I, I figured it out. <laughs> so adding some golden GAC 800 really does help. All right, so I'm just going to continue to um, layer these paints in, and again, this is my 10-ouncer, so sometimes it takes a minute to, to get that 10 ounces, and um, these cups are my design. If you're new to my channel, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I design these cups, and um, they're available in my Etsy shop. And inside of the cup, you will see a notch at the end of the spout. And that is where you know that you have gotten up to your 10 ounce amount. Uh, because I don't like to fill it up to the tippy top. Because then it wants to, once you tilt, it kind of just wants to pour out kind of too fast and you can't control it as much. So that really helps keep it, um, kind of let you know where you're at. So that's what I do. That's how I designed it. And um, these cups do not, the, the paint does not drip down the front at all. Um, and that's really one of the reasons why I started designing my own uh, because I was having that issue and um, I couldn't see the paint while I was uh, pouring. It wasn't necessarily this open cup, it was the um, split cups, and I do have those as well. If you're interested in any of that, I do have all of my 3D printed stuff. It's available in my Etsy shop, and uh, there's a link in my description for that. You can just type in um, acrylicpouringtools.com and you can find it that way, find all my goodies that way as well. So. There you go. <laughs> All right, I think I am almost, I'm using up a lot of my paint, that's kind of good. All right, that's good. That's kind of a little bit higher than I wanted to go, but I got it there nonetheless. So now let me move this stuff really quick, kind of all over the place. long. I have to make some uh, cloud, more cloud recipe here soon. All right, so you can see those pretty, pretty colors. And here we go. This looks super, super awesome. I'm gonna start tilting. And that's how I like to do it. I like to tilt to open 
you can see that those clouds are starting to open. Um, and when you do this, it also kind of helps give you an idea of uh, what you want to do, where you want, where you want to tilt. If there's anything you don't like, you can save or you can dump it off if you don't like it. Um, so that's why I do this for a minute. I know some people just kind of go right to tilting. I'm I don't do that, so start to go over edge just a little bit. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, go, and it's and when you are kind of, you see me rocking back and forth. That's how you can guide your paint, and you can go slow. And sometimes you gotta have some patience, but you know it'll be all worth it in the end. Hopefully, you'll be happy with. This way also. Sorry about that glare, guys. I just noticed it. But that is really, really looking gorgeous. So, so pretty. I'm loving that copper. So I'm going to take it back this way. Kind of go that way. Take it to the top. There we go. There we go. Holy moly, this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna run that back. And then I'm gonna go down this way. I don't wanna really lose the rest of that gold. I'm gonna set it down here. Wow, this is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay, I'm leaving this. Totally love this. Woo! <laughs> I'm a little excited about this. Because it is beautiful. Just want to make sure canvas levelers are just right. Make sure all of my edges, I got a this corner here, all of the edges are covered, and it looks pretty good, I think, so far. Wow, it is super shimmery and gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Looks a little dark. My lighting is a little dark. It's kind of overcast here today, but um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna torch real quick like. Don't think, I mean, I might have a few little bubbles, but for the most part, there shouldn't really be anything. Wow, that's just gorgeous. Okay. Woo. Okay. Now a good idea is take a palette knife if you have one or a stir stick or something and go under the bottom. Kind of scrape all those drippies what happens is it will continue to pull your paint and especially if your canvas isn't level um, it will continue to pull your paint so making sure that your canvas is level is really key as well that's why I've got my canvas levelers and um, they really do help so
everybody here we go with the dried photos and I absolutely love how this painting dried I love everything about it I love the copper look at that how pretty that blended around the outside of the clouds and also the um, gold blended really really nice with the blues as well um, there is so much depth to this painting Look at those clouds, they're just gorgeous. So I would love to hear what you guys think. Leave me a comment below and also uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not. I really hope that I have earned your subscription today. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to click the notification bell. Uh, that way you don't miss any of my uh, new videos. And um, one way that really, really helps out my channel is to share it. So if there is someone that you think may enjoy this video, go ahead and share it with them. And I do have other social media uh, as well. I have a Facebook group and Instagram with the same name. So you can go ahead and check those out as well. And I will catch you in my next video.